Troubling new details tonight as serial rape suspect Asofito Fio made his first appearance in court today. We're also learning about how one daring move by the victim might have helped crack this case. KITV 4's Nana Okawa has the latest development. 30 year old Asofito Fio was hired to do good, working at Catholic Charities Hawaii, one of the largest nonprofits in Hawaii. But now he's in jail, accused of doing bad. A woman tells police he rang the doorbell of her apartment on Cedar Street, then ducked out of view of her peephole. She opened the door and says Fio pushed his way inside. That's when she tells police he punched her, then dragged her from room to room and raped her twice. But he made one big mistake. He told her to shower, but apparently, didn't stick around to make sure she did. She only turned on the sink, washed up a little, then called police after noticing he left. The search for the suspect is one of the largest operations that the Honolulu Police Department has conducted. That operation would tie one potential suspect to as many as three attacks. 60 officers scoured the areas until a surveillance operation in the Kaheka area led to a match. He gave answers that um, raised our suspicions. We were able to obtain a DNA sample from him, and that was a match to DNA recovered from the crime scene. Remember that shower the victim pretended to take? Had she actually taken a shower, there's a good chance that evidence would have washed right off. Police arrested Fio at his brother's residence off North Vineyard Boulevard Friday night. Nana Okawa, KITV 4 News. Theo's preliminary hearing is set for next Wednesday. His bail was set at $1 million.